Hello everyone, this is Melanie Sims 2000. Welcome back to my channel and we are back with Sim Airport. This is episode 2 and what we are currently doing in this series is going through the tutorials. Um, I think kind of just like I did with other games, I'm going to go through all of these and then see how I feel after I learn all about it. Maybe do one episode outside of the tutorials, but this is kind of like initially to just go through the tutorials to see what the game is about what all you can do in the game to see if I like it and we'll continue playing it so we'll see but anyway all right so episode one we went through this first tutorial which was the basics of sim airport so in this episode we are doing large airport expansion so let's go ahead and get started so like I said before I am enjoying it so far so hopefully as we keep going other things will happen all right so welcome to sim airport large airport expansion welcome to the second easy difficulty tutorial <laughs> easy large complex airports can be difficult for passengers to traverse this can cause them to be late hurting your ratings okay solutions to improve efficiency one manage your queues solution two build a second terminal three Place moving walkways in long terminal to help passengers move faster. Y'all, I love me some uh, some moving walkways <laughs> in the airport. Um, and then build on multiple floors to keep distances short. I guess that just has to do with maybe not necessarily the terminals. Those are typically on the same floor. I don't know. Anyway, next. All right, so solution one. Okay, so maybe I guess we're going through those. It says... Uh, Managing queues. Let's look up here first. Let's see. Bank balance. Uh, staff. So, so we have. Oh wait. Oh my gosh. Pause. Goodness gracious. Wait. Did I pause? I think I did. Oh yes. It says pause right here. Pause. Okay. Um. I have staff. Uh. We have property taxes. So basically, right now we're making no money because all we have is staff and property taxes, and we're not having any uh planes, passengers. We don't have any. Arrivals to purchase, uh, to purchase, wow, departures, <laughs> airline executives, um, arrivals of connections, successful departures, missed departures, airline interest, and then weather. Okay. Wind conditionings worsening. So, true story, y'all. Um, on my way back from uh, Seattle, where my, for my vacation, we made it to Jacksonville, and, we wound up circling the airport for 20 minutes because of the fact that it was uh, bad weather and we couldn't land and then we landed but then it was thun there's a thunderstorm like near in the area even though it wasn't really cl that close but if you know anything about airports they have this radar where if there's lightning detected within five miles of the port they have to bring their people inside and if the people are inside that means no one's there to usher the plane to the gate so basically we wound up sitting on the plane on the runway for an hour um waiting for that and then what happens is say you get to it, it does it every it's like a 10 minute wait so say it detects lightning within five miles it starts a 10 minute clock but say like nine minutes and 30 seconds it detects another one well then the 10 minute clock starts over again so that's why we wind up waiting for a whole stinking hour but anyway, so it's just kind of, I wonder if all of this stuff comes into play, because that would be kind of cool. All right. Um, you can assign the same queue to multiple services, such as one queue to three ticketing desks. Okay, that makes sense. This is an optimal way of making sure all waiting passengers are served in the order they arrive. Yep. That makes sense. Um, sometimes a fair order is not the most efficient. Creating a separate queue for flight crew will allow them to bypass the main queue, which is essentially, oh, especially useful at security. If the crew arrive late to the plane, it causes delays. Makes sense. You may also want to consider having priority queues for first class. Yep. As their satisfaction affects your airport rating much more than coach satisfaction does. Oh, do they? I used to love when I had, like, first class and priority and could just get in front anyway <laughs> don't skip making cues staff get confused about who is next to serve when everyone is crowding around causing them to be much slower multiple terminals if there's enough space you have a large enough budget a second oh and you have a large enough budget a second terminal would be great for improving airport efficiency this allows you to split up airplane gates between multiple security and ticketing zones as long as they are connected 
This will require a lot more infrastructure to function correctly. Only do this once you are confident in how to get the first terminal working. Makes sense. Tip, you could load the def default map and copy it below, copy it below it to make, okay, to practice making one, sorry. Make sure the operational objects are assigned correctly. Lord, I'm scared, y'all. I'm scared. Building walkways along very long areas of the terminal is the easiest and cheapest way to improve efficiency. This is assuming you have a wide cor you have wide corridors to drag them down. They can also be used by staff and baggage carts. Because each one go one direction, consider how passengers will use them. Don't build huge ones. Leave gaps so people are free to walk off them. Okay. It's a lot of uh reading. Like was that supposed to do something by now? Um, just remember that long walking distances are not the only reason for passengers being late. Make sure to investigate long queues and where people are slowing down. As explained in tutorial one, building custom queues allows you to visually identify traffic problems. Okay. Oh my gosh. A recommended area has been shown as an example going from security. Is it this? Like, am I looking at this? Oh, I, I can't move it. I can only zoom. Oh, there we go. So this the this is something. I don't know what, but it's something. Um, uh, going from security to departure lounge. This is recommended because passengers need to get their flights quickly. Get to their flights quickly. To build them, search walkway in the build menu search bar, and then okay, now we're doing something. And then simply drag in the direction you want to be built in. Okay. Um, a recommended area. Going from security to the departure lounge. Secu security to the departure lounge, which I guess this is the departure lounge. So build and then, oh, it says search walkway, but it's right here. Moving walkway. Um, okay, so let's click it. And then I'm assuming we're going this way. Okay, this is so cool. Look at it. Look at it, the walkway. <laughs> um, it might not be practical to fit in walkways if there's little corridor space. Depending on the layout of the airport, there might be no choice but to expand upwards. This is where multiple floors come in. Use right bracket page up to go up a floor. Uh, page up. Ooh, page down. Okay. Oh, it's like underground, above ground. Anyway. Um, or click on the arrows to the right of the screen. Arrow. Here you go. Right here. Current floor which floor you're building on and the highest floor you can see right now. Gotcha. Three. Okay. So two. Ground minus one minus two. Cool. Okay. Um, this follows the American system. There is no first floor after the ground floor. Okay. Anything you can do on ground floor, you can do on the other floors except terrain changes. Underground areas are useful for hiding later complicated systems such as baggage conveyors and utilities from passengers. You still need a foundation under where you place objects. They can also be useful for connecting different areas such as a terminal island via tunnels. You can combine a long tunnel with moving walkways. Okay. So this is underground. Next. Back up. How? Oh, at a higher level. I'll say what happened to my stuff. This is a higher level. Higher levels can be used for expanding your shopping areas in the departure lounge or adding staff zones that are out of the passenger's way or out of the way to passengers, whatever. A second floor door connection is required for the larger gate sizes to connect to the terminal. Yeah, I'm need a sip of water or something like when I'm done reading these. <laughs> Feel free to build a second floor above the departure lounge to make room for shops. Remember to connect it with stairs. Before anything can be built on this floor, a foundation must be placed. That foundation must be placed above an existing one on the lower floor. Oh. Was that it? Oh. Okay. Well, I guess we're getting two. That, it looks like that was more um, just informational. Alright. So, I guess we're fitting, like I said, two in this one. So, the next one is baggage systems. Welcome to the first advanced tutorial. Baggage systems are a must for large airports. This will allow for efficient loading and unloading of plane luggage and swift deliveries to the baggage claim. Do note that if you're running a small airport, you don't need a full baggage system. To handle baggage, you just need ticketing desks, a baggage claim zone, and extra workmen. These workmen will drive baggage carts between the zones and gates to keep up with demand, and this will work fine for small airports. Okay. 
All right, um, next. Before you can start building a baggage system, you first have to get used to using multiple floors as demonstrated in the large airport expansion tutorial. We'll briefly cover it here. Oh, uh, we already did this, just using this to go up and down, so I'll skip that. Um, okay, so it's telling us the underground foundation had been built. If you remember when we were in the last one um, a few minutes ago, this was not here. So they did build an underground foundation. When you do this for your own airport, you need enough space for ramps, conveyor belts, and luggage hubs. Ticketing to planes. We need the luggage to get from the ticketing desk to the planes. A conveyor ramp will deliver luggage between floors. In the build mode, go to utilities tab for every baggage related object and more. Place a conveyor down transition on the ground floor in the highlighted spot. If you can, if it cannot be placed, keep rotating it on that area show and it should turn green. All right, um, highlighted spot. Uh, not quite sure I know what the highlighted spot is, but let's just go here. Um, conveyor, 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 objects, baggage, conveyor. Y'all, I don't, let's just type, it's place a conveyor, con, there we go, conveyor down transition. Okay, so we have that, and it says, in the highlighted spot, do you see a spot that is big enough for this? In the highlighted spot. Oh, is that it? Because that's ticketing. Oh, yeah, it looks like it. How do you rotate? Keep. Oh, there we go. Um, Like this? Did I do it? Uh, until it, it should turn green. That's green. On the ground. Oh, wait, yeah, I'm on the ground floor. Project priority. No oh, I have to hit play. Just do fast forward. They've got, they got to come build it. I keep forgetting about that. So they should be coming. Yep, here they come. All right. So... Where did he go? All right guys, so I changed it because even though I, I put it here, I just realized that when I'm moving this one, there's like green boxes. So I think I just didn't do it right and I don't know why that's there. That's not what I was supposed to do. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just move it until I get that green, um, that green one. Okay, y'all, I don't know. This, nothing was working and this whole thing was not moving. So I don't really know what I did, but we're just going to, I just click skip. Like, I don't know. They need to fix that because it's not clear. Anyway, the next thing says, now we need the desk to be connected to this ramp. The direction is automatic, so it does not matter which way you drag them. Note, if you wish to place things freely, place these objects where you like and then skip ahead at any point. If you decide to skip, remember you'll have to figure out how to connect them yourself. All right, so connect the desk to the ramp with the conveyor belts on the highlighted line. You need to wait for it to be built. Remember the speed control at the top. Okay, so let's go to utilities, conveyor. And so let's do like this. I'm assuming that's what they were talking about. And then let's fast forward. It's nighttime, so it looks like they, um, oh, okay. They do work in it. Oh. The luggage needs to be sorted. A baggage hub will take inputs and sort them into outputs. Oh, let's slow it down. Into outputs. You can rotate it with middle click or by pressing R. You already figured that out. Note where the hub's entrances and exits are. Based on the arrows pointing in towards it and out of it, you can right click on any to change what type they are. Build a baggage hub and connect it. Okay. Let's see. Let's center this. Uh, is it utility still? Yep, okay. Baggage hub. So let's get that in there. It's green. And then I guess a conveyor from here to here. And then let's fast forward. I think they're gonna come build. 
Okay, so that's done. The the hub is done, and now they're working on the conveyor. All right, now we're on to next. Once the luggage is stored, it, oh, let's slow that down. Once the luggage, wait, let's pause it because we're not doing anything. Once the luggage is stored, it will need to be sent to a baggage depot close by to the airport gates, aircraft gates. This is where they will be collected from four planes. Well, I guess collected from four planes. Like, I, I mean, I, I think I get what I mean. Um, build a baggage depot on ground floor level, on ground floor on highlighted spot. All right. Highlighted up, oh, highlighted spot. Okay. So that must have been, this must have been where this had to go then. I'm pretty sure. All right. So we got a highlighted spot. So let's go back to utilities, bag depot. Click. Um. Oh, it made this whole thing okay oh we're underground now okay now we got to connect it I, I get it I get it conveyor all right so I guess we have to go uh, oh I think it said it doesn't matter what direction it's in actually I think they said it it will automatically work um, as long as you put it in so that's fine all right, uh, let's connect it. Let's fast forward and get the guys down here to uh, to work their magic. Come on, oops, sorry. Come on, fellas. Where y'all at? There they go. Yeah, highlighted squares. All right, so it took them a little while, but they're done. It says to check if connections are correct, hover over the depot. It should no longer require a connection to a ticketing desk. Okay, so... It says let's do page down hover okay zero bag sorted so it doesn't seem like it needs a connection so I think that means we're doing okay I think we're doing fine okay um it will only deliver luggage for gates assigned to the depot this can be taken advantage of when you have a large when you have large airports with multiple depots now click on a depot and assign it to the aircraft gate um down is that y'all I don't even remember what the heck a depot is uh, it's not that click on the depot and assigned it assign it what was the depot y'all do you remember um is it t a ticketing desk oh shoot oh 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 my gosh the depot goodness gracious okay assign to a1 assign right here down here guys a1 the baggage will not be able to get to planes yet the baggage cars will deliver luggage to and from depots they are stored in hangars you can search for hangar in the build menu or find it under structures build a small hangar anywhere next to the a taxiway and once constructed add a baggage car okay so this baggage depot is now assigned to gate a1 as you can see a little a1 right there so let's find a hanger up oh, hanger okay um let's do a small one or a medium let's do a medium let's do a medium hanger and it said place it anywhere next to a taxiway um i guess can i fit it up oh, here seems to work and add a baggage car oh we need to fast forward they need to build so let's wait until um they come back and build this okay so guys it's at a small hanger and i'm like not paying attention so i'm gonna dismantle <laughs> and do a small one okay so now that the small hanger is built we need to assign it a baggage car so i guess we clicked on it assign vehicles slot one add baggage car okay so now I have the baggage car this requires connection to a baggage hub what did I not do right um uh hold on if I go down here it is right oh wait a minute hold please utilities conveyor 
it's not this one it's this one so why oh do does it need to have both I'm confused page up hmm that Page down. Like, are they coming to build this? They're coming to build something. I don't really know what they're doing, but we about to find out. Page up. No, it's still not connected. I don't get it, y'all. Uh, I don't know what I did wrong. Oh, well, we'll figure it out. Anyway, the baggage car will deliver luggage between the depot and gates assigned. That's departure flight sorted, but now we need to sort out arrivals luggage oh maybe that's what that was and maybe i just screwed up by like doing something i wasn't supposed to be doing huh <laughs> anyway next oh i sure did <laughs> oh wait a minute hold on how do i get rid of this i don't even know how to get rid of it oh well first let's get the arrivals luggage from the baggage depot to the hub connect the conveyor belts okay yeah y'all i i got ahead of myself i thought i did something wrong and i didn't i just wasn't really paying attention all right so let's go ahead and get this one done. Uh, come on. Drag to here. All right. So let's get them uh, building this. All right. So that is done. So let's pause. All right. So now that that went away. So yeah. Sorry. All right. Now passengers need a way to actually collect their luggage. They collect these from baggage carousels which need to be connected underground. It already comes with a ramp in the middle of it. In the baggage claim zone, add a carousel, which is found in utilities. So this is baggage claim. All right, so let's go to utilities, baggage claim carousel. Let's rotate in place. Let's hit play. Finally, the luggage needs to get from the hub to the carousel. Okay, so utilities, conveyor, let's get that. And let's fast forward so that they come. This is, I'm gonna have to go back and like really think about this stuff. It's a lot going on. I, mean, I get it, but it's a lot going on. Congratulations, assuming you didn't skip. <laughs> you have a working baggage system. Uh. I did skip, but I feel like I was, I don't feel like I was wrong by skipping. Like when this, when, when uh, this right here wouldn't move. Like I think it's right, right? Oh shoot, I don't know. Can I test it? Like why don't they let me figure out how to test it? I don't know, all right. That's it, okay. Well guys, I think, I wish I knew how long these tutorials were and if I had time to fit one more in, but I don't think I will. So we did two, so tutorial two and tutorial three. So we learned a little bit more of just kind of reading about what you can do um, for a large airport. And we know now that we can make additional terminals and that we have multiple floors that we can implement. And then we just learn how to put in a baggage claim, I guess, shoot from the ticketing. Um, so, you know, when you get to the airport and you, if you're going to check a bag, you get them your bags and then that kind of makes its way down into the planes. Um, so we learn how to do that. And then we learn how to do baggage claim for arrivals for people to get their bags. So anyway, I think that's enough. This is, it's a lot. Like it might not be a lot for you because you're just watching, but like for me, like mentally, like that was a lot. And like I'm I'm done like for right now <laughs> I need to go back and process as a matter of fact I'm probably gonna have to go back and like do these over again like just to refresh my memory as I go just be like if I do wind up playing this normally because it's a lot of information um, in this small period of time and I feel like you have to kind of do it a couple of times to remember it but anyway guys all right well that is where we're gonna end it so let's do menu save game uh, save this one Save. Overwrite. Yes. Your game is saved. Okay. And then go ahead and quit. Main menu. Come on.
there we go all right so tutorials so yeah so episode one we did the basic system airport and then now episode two we covered large airport expansion and baggage system so next episode um we'll cover either one or both of these just kind of depends on how long they are but anyway guys all right well i'm gonna go ahead and end this here i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give a big thumbs up comment and subscribe if you'd like to see more and i'll talk to you all later bye <laughs> Go, 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 go.